Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, this video is a little bit of a break off from what I normally do. This is a Valentine's Day piece for my girlfriend. Um, so we have a schnoodle, which is a schnauzer poodle mix named Tibbles, who is uh, short for Tiberius. He's a little cute guy, as you can see from the reference images. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of funny if I did a Valentine's Day illustration for her. Um, where uh, he's a little cupid uh, flying with a bone quiver. So anyway, uh, I'm just doing some line work here, just a sketch to see the forms and the shape, try to lay something out. Um, yeah, we have some reference images at the top. Um, he's not a small dog. He's not like a toy breed or anything. He's about, I don't know, between 11 to 13 pounds. Um, but uh, he's a funny guy. So anyway, we're going with um, just little angel wings. He's going to have a bow in his paws. He's going to have to have fingers. But that's okay. Originally I had him, as you can see, with his little, little paws up in front of him. He does that a lot <laughs> when he's running. So that would be funny to have it. But um, it's really hard to ho hold a bow like that. So that ends up getting edited out. Also, he has a uh, he has floppy ears that are usually down, but when he um when he runs, they go flying back. So, uh, and same with his tail; he has a curled tail, but when he runs, it sort of becomes like a flag and whips around. All right, so now we're adding the bow and the arm extended out, holding it. And uh, just gonna make the legs a little bit more traditional. Usually cupids have one leg extended and uh, one leg uh, tucked in. little legs. He's actually got very long legs. He's got poodle legs, despite being a schnauzer mix. Um, so he's kind of funny. He's got like this uh, compressed body and head and then this very long kind of spindly legs. Um, so I wanted to do sort of a forced uh, curved perspective. Make it a little bit less realistic looking. I mean, it is a dog flying around with an arrow, so. We're uh, throwing down some color. You'll notice I'm not doing my normal black and white shades and then coloring um just kind of messing around here i think it's i actually have problems doing the same technique or the same uh pipeline every time of you know black and white color render etc i just i get bored with it or something so i have to mix it up and try different styles every once in a while Doing the color dodge layer for some highlights. Some little speck highlights on the uh, nose. I'm 
doing the mustache here. He has a kind of funny little mustache, so uh, got to keep it in there. And now I'm just painting out some of the lines here. Um, a lot of the line work I want to remove. I want it to be a little bit more of a smoother painterly image, so I have to paint out all those little sketch marks. Lots of painting lines out since I went pretty heavy with the sketching. I know a lot of artists paint over their lines, but I have a problem doing that because then I sort of forget where I was going with the piece. And I feel like I wasted time. But who knows? Maybe I should try that next time. Just uh, adding some more reflections and uh, adding some more form to the nose, get the perspective right. He's got kind of thinner hair around his eyes, so that area is pink, the actual dog. So we just add some pink to the ear, a nice little not too intense, but just, you know, to give the hint that light's coming through the ear, it's not a solid object. some shadows here with multiply layer. The uh, the colors were done on a normal layer, highlights are done on a color dot, shadows are done on multiply. Now we're just using the hairbrush to add some texture.
good old liquify tool. Now, at this point, something was wrong with the arm. Um, so I sketched that out. And what I'm doing right now is I'm going to make a custom brush for the feathers because I don't like the way the feathers on the little wing are looking right now. So here I'm messing with the settings. And once I get the settings I like, I will save it as a brush preset. And voila, cheaty, very cheaty. Generally, I only use this technique on the inner wings, not the uh, the uh, pinions or the very edge of the long wings, or sorry, feathers, um, because uh, the the long the longer feathers have a lot more character and shape to them, whereas the smaller kind of filler feathers don't. Um, right now, I didn't think I liked the arm, so I, went, I spent a lot of time painting it out and getting the sort of weird um, floating dog that's missing his front paws. And then here I'm planning out a new pose and uh, just wireframing the skeleton. But uh, I actually didn't end up liking it. You'll see in a second why. All right, so paint in the, the rear paw and give him arms, but it just looks a little bit too scrawny and weird. Kind of a shame because I really like the painted out form, it looks really nice. Anyway, so what I decided to do is revise the original. So I, I made the rear leg smaller because it was way too big in comparison to his other foot. And then um, I moved the neck back a little bit so more of the drawing arm could be seen. I tried adding claws at first, but it looked, I don't know, it didn't look right. He looked too monstrous. <laughs> Even though he does have little, they look like uh, chocolate chips, <laughs> little chocolate chip uh, fingernails or uh, claws. too much bounce. Uh, here I fix his eyes to actually make him look more like his eyes. Similarly, I wanted the tongue to um, be coming out of the mouth a little bit, kind of, because he, he makes this little like cup on his tongue when he opens his mouth. So, I'm trying to be true to the model. Uh, now I'm doing, now I'm doing, um, some revisions on the bow. Giving it a more, um, cartoony look, I guess. I mean, it, a bow could be constructed like this, but it probably wouldn't have that. <laughs> the curly cues on the ends of the uh, arms. And uh, refining the shape of the arrow here. Just using a really quick selection to make a straight shaft. I gotta make sure the valentine is the right shape. So that kind of heart is called a valentine. Um, that's just the name of it. It's that kind of classic playing cards heart symbol. And I thought it'd be nice to add some gold leafing to the bow. 
got these inlaid gold stripes. It's uh, like a candy cane. And what I just did there is I created a mask so I could be um, a little bit more free with my brush strokes. shadow <laughs> so now I think we're gonna be working on the background for a bit so I couldn't really decide how I want the background to look um, at first I imagined him sort of flying over a low valley and then it, as I worked it sort of looked better as if he was like up in the stratosphere and those are like you know, mountains lakes and seas beyond So there's the horizon line. And now it ended up looking like an ocean, see what I mean, on the right side. So um, I sort of just went with it. And uh, those guidelines are actually where it's going to be cut to fit the frame of the photo. So that's my bleed area. I had some birds, um, but they actually get destroyed later by accident. <laughs> I forget which layer they're on, and I ended up using it for something else. So I'm adding some uh, golden glows with an overlay layer. Excuse me, got a little bit yawn. Um, and then I decided to add some flowers uh, to the foreground. Um, but uh, I overdid it with the blur. So those are only going to be temporary. I made some adjustments, which ended up being a waste of time because I don't really think I kept many of them. And I tried doing some uh, lens flares, and I didn't really like them in the end, so those ended up going away too. They just didn't really have a point. Tried uh, mix, messing with the perspective by using the warp, didn't work. And then this morning, after a sit down, I, uh, I went back and I added the flowers and I actually made a custom brush using one of my hair brushes. And by hair brushes, I mean the brush I used to paint hair, not a hair brush. Um, I just go in with a round brush and do some tweaks to make it look less uniform. And then I went back um, with a soft light layer and I did a nice little warm bounce from the flowers. And then I tried doing some cold bounce from the sky, but it didn't really show up, so. That's fine though. Um, I also did a little bit of coloration because he actually has a darker muzzle of paws and a stripe down his back. So I added that a little bit. Here I'm just adding some more patches just of the flowers and we're done. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that painting. I know it was a quickie. It only took about three and a half hours or so to do. Um, which is good, but that's really because there's only a foreground character and a kind of 
painted in background. Uh, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thanks again for coming by. Talk to you soon.